Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's eye look is actually inspired by one of my beauty blogger friends, Megan. She came down to Christchurch um, last week and her and I were playing makeup as we do. Um, and she actually created this eye look on me. Hers looks a hundred times better than this, but I was so inspired and I thought, oh my God, I have to recreate that. So that is what I did for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll leave Megan's um, blog and Instagram and everything down below. Be sure to check her out. She is amazing. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Alright, so I'm going to jump straight into it. I freshly cleansed and well moisturized my face. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Foundation and apply that all over my skin using a damp beauty blender. And then I am going to go in with this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I haven't tried it before. I have just done a swatch on my hand and it looks pretty good. I'm after a little bit of an extra glow today, so I thought this would be perfect. Applying that on my forehead, upper lip, tip of my nose and cheekbone area. And then before blending it out, I'm going to dip my beauty blender into this uh, Becca Cream Highlighting Palette thingy my bob. I'm not too sure on the name, but I'll have it listed down below. To help try hide my eye bags, I'm going in with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 20. And then to cover just a little bit of blemishes that I have on my forehead and chin area, I'm going to take the Thin Lizzie Concealer in Oriental Doll and just apply it where I see fit. I'm then going to blend up my under eye concealer using the teardrop end of my Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is perfectly designed for this exact process because when you use under eye concealer or any under eye product, the point of it really allows you to get that product into the inner corner. I'm then going to go ahead and set my under eye area in place using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation Powder onto a Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm going to apply this under my eye area as well as on top of my eyelids and this will just help soak up any excess oil. So then when I go in with a primer it will help even more to make the eyeshadow last all day long. I like to see it as like your eye primer's best friend, like they help each other out. <laughs> I'm going to comb my eyebrow hairs in place and I'm actually going to fill them in with not the Anastasia Dip Brow but instead the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. I haven't used this baby in ages and I don't know why because I freaking love it so much. It is the perfect dupe for the Anastasia Dip Brow. The only thing that changes it a little bit is that the Chi Chi one is a lot more creamier but other than that, you cannot tell the difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows using the Odell Brow Brush. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys have seen it all before, really. I'm then going in with the NYX eyeshadow base eye primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my lids using a Real Techniques eye buffing brush. Oh my god, how pretty is this eyeshadow palette? This is the Chi Chi Spices palette and I'm going to start out with this taupey brown shade and apply that on the outer portion of my eye blending towards the inner portion just using a Real Techniques blending brush. This is going to act as my transition color today. I'm going to take a little bit more of that taupey shade and apply it on the outer portion of my eye blending inwards because I want my transition color to be quite heavy and packed into place today. With a fluffier blending brush, I'm going to pick up this gorgeous orange shade and again apply it from the outer corner of my eye blending inwards. Today's eye look involves quite a bit of layering so I am going to go in back and forth with the colors and the brushes just to make sure that I get that perfect transition of color. To deepen up that crease even more, I am going in with this, I want to call it a maroon brown. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's how I see it. So I'm just going to take that again onto a Real Techniques blending brush and really pack that on the outer portion of my eye. And I'm just going to blend it out using that fluffier blending brush. I told you there was a lot of layering. I am then going to take this deeper brown shade and apply it on the outer portion of my eye using a pencil brush. So once I have that packed in place, I'm going to go back in with my Real Techniques blending brush and just blend it out. Once I'm happy with the pigmentation and blending of my outer corner, I'm going to go ahead and apply this gorgeous rose gold shade on the inner portion of my eye and pretty much over my entire eyelid. I'm using a flat top eye brush to really pack this color into place. Once I have it packed on and I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to go in with a blending brush again and just blend it out and tidy it up a bit. Then I'm going in with a Torby Brown shade again on a clean blending brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend everything together to ensure there are no harsh lines. 
and that is pretty much the top half of the eye done and dusted. I do go in with just a little bit more color which you'll see in just a jiffy but before that I'm going to combine this orange shade with this maroon brownie shade and I'm going to sweep it under my eye using an angled blending brush. Alright, so here's the last eyeshadow placement that I was talking about. This is completely optional. I just like to go ahead and kind of tight line my upper lash line ever so slightly. So I'm using a brown eyeshadow. This isn't anything in particular, it's just something that I had lying around. And I'm going to take that on a very small blush, brush, <laughs> a very small brush, and I'm going to blend that into my upper lash line. Moving along to the rest of my face, I am going to go ahead and bronze up my cheekbones and forehead using this Too Faced Chocolate Solaire Bronzer onto a Real Techniques blush brush. I'm not going in with full harsh contouring today, I just didn't really feel like it. I just really want to warm up my skin. For highlight, I am taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight. This is from my customized contour kit and I'm just going to apply that on the tip of my nose, cheekbones and upper lip area just to give myself even more of a glow. I'm also not going in with fake eyelashes today, which I think is a first for me. I don't know, I just I wasn't really feeling it. I just wanted to stick with mascara. So I'm first starting off with the Max Factor Mascara. This is a great mascara to get a good thick base going. And then it ends up on my cheek. Now I know why I wear eyelashes. Anyway, I'll let that dry. Does anyone else find that it is so hard to let mascara dry completely before trying to take it off? I always find myself just ending up being so impatient that I just want to take it off and then it ends up smudging and oh, first world problems, right? Once I have that down packed, I am going to go in with a different mascara. This is the Revlon Luxurious Luxury, I don't know, something or other. I'll have it listed in the down bar below. But this mascara is really good at lengthening, lengthening my eyelashes. So I'm going to use this over the top. And for lips today, I decided to go with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade uh, Celebrity Skin. Almost forgot that for a second. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to check out Megan's links down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.